In front of me, I've got two study box units. Study box is an innovation by Learning Factory to make digital educational content accessible offline and off the grid. Simply what a study box is, is a learning management system server, which can be powered using solar power or mains electricity. A study box is highly portable and lightweight, which means it can be deployed in various locations which are accessible by human beings either on foot or in a vehicle. This means that a study box is highly versatile and can make education accessible even where it's impossible to have schools and libraries. Now the study box contains a battery which when charged up allows the unit to run. As the unit runs, learners can access the digital educational content which is stored in the unit. The study box broadcasts a Wi-Fi signal and Wi-Fi enabled devices can connect to the Wi-Fi signal which is broadcast by the study box. Bear in mind that the study box is not connected to the internet, so you're not accessing content from the internet but from the device itself. The study box can be powered, like I said, by solar or by mains electricity. So when we supply the study box, it comes with a wall charger and cable as well as a solar panel which allows you to switch between charging it using solar or your wall socket. In addition to the power supply, the study box is supplied with a quick start guide. In this quick start guide, you receive credentials to be able to access the content which is on the study box as well as simple steps to using the device. Content on the study box is accessed through the browser on a Wi-Fi enabled device. This means that there's no setup of software on the accessing devices. You're simply connecting to the Wi-Fi signal which is broadcast by the study box, opening your internet browser, going to the address which is indicated in the quick start guide, and then accessing your content using the username and password supplied here. Running the study box is a simple process. You'll notice on the front panel of the unit is a power switch and an on and off button. The power switch disconnects the battery, which allows for safe transportation of the unit. When switched on, and then you press the on button, the study box unit begins to run. You'll notice the green indicator shows you that the study box unit is running. The red indicator takes a moment to start up and it indicates that the Wi-Fi signal is now enabled and you can now connect devices to the study box. When the study box is fully charged, it will run safely for between 8 and 12 hours, depending on the number of connected devices. With the study box running and broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal, you simply go onto your Wi-Fi enabled device search for the Wi-Fi signal which has been broadcast by the study box, which in this case is NACA2. The Wi-Fi signal has been customized to the client's settings. Once we've connected automatically, we're now able to access content which is on the study box unit. The next step is to open your internet browser and to enter the login credentials for the study box. The login page appears and there you can enter your username and password. Accessing the study box with an administrator account, you can see how much space is taken up on the study box, how many active users you've got using the study box and how many courses are available on the study box. It also shows you how many people are logged into the study box at any given time. This is great for teachers as well as school administrators who at any given point may want to determine how many students are accessing the courses as well as to assist students who are accessing the courses at any given time. Courses which have been developed using industry standard authoring tools such as Articulate Rise and Articulate Storyline as well as Adobe's Captivate can be loaded onto the study box. This means that users are able to access courses on the study box, which other users would be able to access on the internet and have exactly the same learning experience.
up to 20 devices can connect to the study box simultaneously. We recommend that learners use the connected devices in pairs. That's to say that for each laptop or each tablet that's connected to the study box, you have two users at a time. This allows up to 40 students to access content which is on the study box at any given time. This is ideal for a standard or a large class in most low-income communities across Zimbabwe. Study boxes can be loaded with up to 128 gigabytes of data, with a standard high school level course being 1.5 gigabytes, you can load the entire curriculum for the whole school for O-level or A-level on a single study box. Learners can access different courses at a time, which means that study box can be used as a main resource in teaching within a class, or it can be used as a supporting resource, which can be accessed by different learners from different classes at the same time. Different use cases can apply to the content which is loaded on study boxes. Teachers can use the content to prepare for lessons, or teachers can have learners access the content which is on study box units while they're in a lesson. To date, study box units have been used to ensure continuity of education delivery, especially in light of the COVID-19 pandemic and the closure of schools. Study box units are also being used in non-formal education to make digital content accessible to learners for short periods of time. The versatility of study box makes it an ideal solution to make educational content accessible offline, off the grid and at low cost.